Hey, this is Joe with Personas. I'm here at Sweetwater to talk about some great new features in Studio One version 6.5. The biggest one is the introduction of surround mixing and Dolby Atmos integration. That's right, you can now do Dolby Atmos mixes inside of Studio One. It all works natively and beautiful, just like you would expect out of Studio One. Let me show you what it looks like. All right, here is a regular old bread and butter stereo mix of one of my songs. We're gonna turn this into a Dolby Atmos mix. First thing we do is select spatial audio and we choose Dolby Atmos as our format. When I apply that, this new renderer pops up. Now, this is really cool. In some other DAWs, you have to run the renderer as a standalone app that runs alongside the DAW that you're using. With Studio One, it's all built in and it works together and it's really easy to use. So this gives us a really cool view of what's happening in our mix. As we add different objects to the mix, they will show up in this little box right here. And up here, we can choose what our bed format is. This is like the basic surround format that we're mixing in before we start adding in specific objects. So when you use Dolby Atmos, you've got your surround mix, and then you've got specific objects that you can place inside of that surround mix. So you could have 80% of your mix just be in the surround bed, which is the term we're using here, and then you could pick a few of the tracks to be objects that show up in the mix. So we can set our bed format here, but we can set our output format to any number of things. So even if you don't have a full surround mixing system with a whole bunch of speakers in your studio, you can still access this feature and you can actually put on headphones, choose the binaural mode, and now you're doing a Dolby Atmos binaural mix in your studio. You don't need a whole bunch of speakers. You can do that right here inside of Studio One. At the heart of spatial audio, you've got basically two different types of panners that are new to Studio One. The first is the surround panner. This allows us to pan objects wherever we want in the stereo field. We can adjust the width. We can swap the left and the right if we want, and we can adjust the height. So for mixing in a system that has ceiling speakers, we can now adjust the height as well as the width and depth. The other type of panner is called an object panner. When we create an object, each of these objects will show up inside of the Dolby Atmos renderer. You can see this one right there. That's our symbols track that we just created. As we add more to this Atmos mix, we have a good visual of exactly where everything is placed in our mix. But here's the cool thing. If you set your output to binaural, put on a set of headphones, and grab this panner and start moving things around, you'll hear it sound like it's moving, for example, behind you, or it's moving to the left or to the right or off to the side. You can even hear it move up above you. I'm not smart enough to know how exactly that works, but it's pretty crazy, you gotta try it for yourself. You can do a, essentially a surround mix with just a set of headphones using the binaural mode. And this will still output a full Dolby Atmos compatible mix, but you made it just on a set of headphones. It's pretty cool. With the addition of spatial audio mixing in Studio One, of course, we had to add a couple of new plugins. The first is a new surround delay plugin. Yeah, you heard that right. This is a multi-tap delay that has up to eight different taps and you can pan each of them wherever you want in the surround field. So you can get really tweaky with it and make some really interesting immersive delay sounds. If you're familiar with our convolution reverb called Open Air, we're introducing Open Air 2. The most notable improvement is that it now has full surround sound impulse responses. So if you send a track to this reverb in surround, it will sound like it's literally placed inside of one of these spaces. While Dolby Atmos is the big announcement for version 6.5, we've also added a couple of cool new things for composers. If you do a lot of work with guitar, you can now do guitar tabs inside of Studio One. A lot of people might not know, but in addition to Studio One, Personas also owns Notion, which is a full-on notation software. Since we own both, we can take a lot of cool features out of Notion and work those into Studio One, one of those being guitar tabs. So now, instead of only having notes available to us, when we look at a score view of a particular MIDI part, it now shows us the guitar tabs. Here's a standard guitar part we wrote using MIDI. If we switch over to score view, we can now see that not only do we have the notes, on a regular treble clef, we now have a guitar tab section. This is so much fun because not only can you have the guitar tab there, but you can change the tuning of the guitar if you want. So if you're playing a guitar in drop D, this is where you put your fingers. 
if you're playing the guitar in open D, this is where you put your fingers. Or if you want to get crazy with it, you can come in here and enter your own tuning of whatever crazy tuning you'd like to use, and it'll show you exactly where to play. So whether you want to go nuts with guitar tabs or do a full-on Dolby Atmos binaural mix, the easiest and fastest way to get into Studio One version 6.5 is to buy a Studio One Plus subscription. Call your Sweetwater sales engineer or head to sweetwater.com to check it out.